Hello friends, this is Kara Renee with Be Reborn Art and Healing coming to you with a quick video. Um, this is a process video for some um, special paper clips for the Paris Rose Journal. I'm calling them Corner Hugger Hidden Paper Clip Clusters. That's a mouthful, but we're going to do it. So I had to I had to step away and think about it. I turned the camera on and then I was like, how am I going to make these hidden paper clips? So let me show you what I discovered. So, because typically with a hidden paper clip, you would go like this and you'd put this in here like that. And then you would glue this down, right? But then you'd lose your, you'd lose your tuck spot, right? So I figured out a way to do it. So if this was our journal page, we would put this on top like that. It's going to hug the corner. Um, it's going to probably hang out a little bit on this side because it's going to have to get glued, um, but we'll see how that goes on our first one. But in order for this to work, the paper clip is actually going to have to go on the back side of the other page. So I hope you guys can see this. So this is the page, and this will make more sense when we actually do it. And I'm going to hook it with the short side on the paper side like that on that side and the big side here so that I can actually glue the back side and the back side of this will not be a tuck. So if this is a journal page, it would be a tuck, effective tuck on this side, but it would just be a cluster on this side because this would all be glued down. I hope that makes sense to you guys. And then what we would do here is we would just have a little bit of glue just to hold this paper down there. Sorry, I keep going off camera. I'm not used to working um, this close. So let's see if let's see if it's going to work. This is uh, this is something else. So I did already um, pull all of my bits, all of my clusters. They're inked, but I will talk with you about how I decide how to make clusters because I know. A lot of people struggle with layering and so I kind of have a recipe. So I usually, if I'm making them for a kit or a certain theme or color scheme, I will pick um, an element of like um, a digital paper or scrapbooking paper or something with a print on it like, um, like this. So this is one of ours. Let me turn these over so I don't get mi mixed up here. Goodness gracious. <laughs> so I've got, so I have a book page, I mean a music page. I have a little, this is some handmade paper. I didn't make it, it's from Amazon. So then this would go on top of that. And then this is um, a piece of a digital. And so I would put that on top of that. And then I have a little piece of, I think this is Tim Holtz uh, tissue paper. Um, so that would go on there. And then our little focal point would go on top. Obviously I would trim that off. And then we've got this cute little lady. And I will link, I just purchased a bunch of vintage um, people, things like this. So I will try to link all of them. I'm not going to tell you specifically which one came from which seller because I, that's a lot of work. Um, to track, but I will try. I will do my best. Um, so, um, so, and then that will go on top. And then once we get that built on, then we'll, we'll put our paper clip in between here, like I talked about, and then we will um, try it out and see if it works. <laughs> and then we'll put another cluster on the other side. So I want to de determine. I think I do want this one on the front um, because this is going to be the this is going to be the one that's actually going to act as a tuck rather than just a a cluster on the back. So let's go ahead and glue this. I do need to tear this down. It's a little bit too wide. That's okay. So I've got my uh, white glue here. And I'm going to start with the bottom piece, which is the book, uh, music page. So again, I usually pick music or book page, vintage paper. Um, and sometimes like a specialty paper, like a piece of vellum or a piece of rice paper, or in this case, tissue paper or napkin or something. So we're just going to put this on here like that. I'm going to try not to have it go outside the boundaries because when if I did that, it would look funny on the other side because it would have really weird things popping out. So, And then we're going to put this down. I'm hoping that this will hold just fine with just my white glue. It is a uh, kind of a textile feeling uh, paper. So we're gonna put that on top of there. 
and it's going to go down a little bit lower because we want to see those notes so I am going to um, pull this off a little bit I don't want it hanging over I got this pre prepared but I didn't I didn't you know like measure everything out so so now we can still see our music page underneath and then um, this one goes next so this is also this one can hang over this way a little bit um, which would be fine and actually I think this one might be fine if we just ink the back of that if it hangs over I'm not sure actually let's not let's just not set that precedent here it'd get tricky okay so then we're gonna glue oh and this is where you could put, bring in some textile so I'm gonna look in my little basket here and see if I see anything that just kind of um, jumps out at me figuratively speaking <laughs> um, I should have pulled some of this before I apologize there's a little bit of gold here I've got this gold this is from a dress that I purchased at the secondhand store and I've been using it just randomly so let's go ahead and cut a little snippet of this and see if we want to use it it's just got a really great um, you know that gold color is really beautiful and it's somewhat uh, see-through not completely but we don't necessarily need it because if we put it at, on this level we don't need it to be so I'm gonna go ahead and cut a little bit off of the edge like that and then we're gonna put that down and I think I'm gonna grab my fabric tack just because I get concerned about the white glue holding that so and I keep my fabric tack in this little recycled, I think it was rubbing alcohol bottle, and I just turn it over when I'm using it in this in this little cup, and then it's always ready to go. So, and this was a new one, so it's not going to take long to get it to go to the tip. There we go. I feel like this needs to be a little bit narrower. Give me just a second. There we go. And want to make sure that the most gold side is up because a part of it's more kind of glittery than the other and then this is going to go on top of it and we're going to use the fabric tack again because we are gluing it to um, a fabric a textile and I'm going to put that right there I don't want it hanging over that edge I guess I could trim that off and Anything that hung over, I could trim off and then just give it a little inking. There we go. I love that already. And then I thought that we put this on top, but now I'm not exactly sure because it has more script, and I think that's kind of silly. So I'm going to pull out my... Oh, there's a piece of vellum right on top. I like to use just plain vellum that has not been printed on as well for this. So I'm going to just tear a piece of that. My other pieces do have vellum. Um, because you can see everything that's underneath it which I think is really really cool so let me ink that up really quick and it inks up beautifully there we go so that's gonna go there just as a li little added layer and I'll I'll hold this up so you can see why that is so appealing um, so I also work hard not to overthink my clusters because you can overthink and then just get completely stuck. So, and the white glue works really well with vellum. So, it's similar to Barely Arts. I've mentioned that before. It is linked in the supply list, and uh, um, the link to the so I put everything over on the blog. The link to the blog is in the description box, but you can see close-up photos and all of that over on my on my website so the link is provided in the video description so we're gonna put this beautiful lady right here isn't she so pretty I feel like we need something else under her though maybe a little scrap of this lace it doesn't have to be a whole piece it can just be like that just sticking out so we'll just kind of make a little diamond shape here with the glue put that on yeah that'll kind of hang off where she's going to be able to be seen. I need to move it a little bit because I don't really want her hanging off of the edge there. So I'm moving that a little bit more so I can move her over and then the, tr 
true test will come next and see if we can actually make this what I want it to be. So I know that you guys probably are noticing that we're covering things up, but there's a mystery to that. So, so you can see all the pieces that we did. Here's the music page. Here's that um, handmade paper. Here's the, the textile. Here's the, the scrapbook paper. Here's the vellum. Here's the more lace or more uh, textile and then the girl. Um, I will probably put words on these, but I will do that off camera because I don't know what I want. So now we're going to go ahead and as I mentioned, we're going to, hopefully this is going to make sense. We're going to go like, oh, wait a minute, wait a minute. Okay. How is this going to work, my loves? So in order to do this though, I have to put it on a page. So we can do that because guess what? My signatures, I need to I need to step away. I will pause the camera. I need to grab my baskets for the Paris Rose Journal and we will put this on a page. So the Paris Rose Journal is a three signature journal. So these are the three signatures. I don't know if they're inked or not. So if I put it on a page, I have to, I'll have to ink really quick. Um, so I apologize for not being more more prepared than that but you know we live and we learn right so let's see where this could go yeah these pages are not yet inked but that is all right I almost feel like we could put her right on here let's see what that would look like oh I do like this because she has a really dark see how she's got this dark in here and it goes with this I love that let me hold that up that's perfect. Okay, so now we're going to do this. I'm going to go ahead and um, I'm going to take this page out of the signature because I don't want to get anything. I don't normally work in a signature before it is bound, so I'm going to go ahead and just set this aside and leave that kind of cattywampus so I know where that page was going to go. So but before I do that, I, as I mentioned, I do want to ink because I don't want to. I I want to be able to have access to that. And then I also probably need to just double check my measurements because my washi tape is not sticking. This page half, this paper had to be um, reinforced because it's from a, an old book. So our dimensions on this are four and three quarters by seven ish. So let me reach and grab my, my, my smart ruler. I'll explain why I call it a smart ruler here in a second if you haven't heard me say that so because it has all the dimensions three and a half three and three fours three and seven eighths so it's perfect for me so it is the right height not too uh not too long and it is four and three quarters so it's right at the measurement that we um, that is the widest that we can make a page so um so yeah we're gonna go for it so i'm gonna go ahead and put this i uh, probably need to ink the inside of just this this side I can do the rest later there we go so my thinking was she could go on like that and then the paper clip would go um, well we would glue that but we'll glue that all at the same time here so then this I'm gonna flip that up just so I can see what I'm doing so I'm gonna put the long side of the paper clip on the on this side so the paper side sorry camera is too close um, no, wait a minute. Yeah, that's fine. And then we're going to go ahead and just stick that there. And I'm actually going to run a bead of glue along this edge and um, hope for the best. So I'm going to use my fabric tack just because I want to. And I'm just going to run it along this edge. Well, that was a lot, Karen. -y. And I'm going to run it over. Oh, that needs to go up. You see, we're running, we're running over the, it needs to move up so it's not seen. Sorry. Goodness gracious, Karen. -y. So when we try new things, we just never know, you know, what we're going to get. So I'm going to put extra glue, kind of like I would on a paper, hidden paper clip right there. Okay. Put that back in my bottle and then we're going to go ahead and put this back in place. I'm just going to um, lay this down and I'm going to put my page on top of it okay and I'm going to make sure that I'm not too high so that can still fold over 
So I'm going to give this a good press. I'm going to reach behind me and grab a paper towel. And I'm just going to hold this for a bit because I don't want to, um, I don't want to have a problem. And I'm going to go ahead and get that page separated. I'm going to grab another piece of parchment so that we can protect the other page, just like that. We're going to go ahead and just press, 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 press. Okay. That should be good. Okay. I'm going to leave that there. So then what we would do with this one is we would run a very small bead of glue along this edge. So I'm going to get my tiny bottle. Hopefully it's not plugged up. It tends to give me give me trouble. I want to be able to control the, um, the flow of the glue here so we don't lose too much of our little tuck. There we go. It should be fine. So I'm going to go ahead and just put a little bit of glue on here. I think it's gonna work, you guys. Thanks for being my my sample audience, my test audience. <laughs> there we go. Sometimes that's how it goes though, huh? We're gonna give that a good press. I love that. I absolutely love that. So we're not gonna stick anything in here, but we have an effective tuck here. We have a cluster and we have a hidden paper clip. So in theory, in theory, the paper clip is not going to do anything other than um, on this side, a person could stick something in there. I'm going to pull, try to pull the paper clip out a little bit. We did use Fabri-Tac, so because if I want to put some sorry silk or some ribbon on there, I can do that. Um, so that's what we're going to do. We're going to keep that, pull that out. So that is the first one. So again, this is not going to act as a tuck. In fact, I'm going to go ahead and stick some glue in there just so that we don't, um, well, hang on. Maybe it is, maybe it's just gonna have a visible paper clip. Let's try it. Nope, it's not. I have a hard time thinking about those things, guys, so thanks for your patience. I'm gonna go ahead and just squirt some glue in here just to close that up so that nobody gets confused about that. I, um, I have mentioned before I may be selling this journal, so We'll see, the jury's still out. <laughs> It'd be my first one. I usually just give my journals away. So look at that, isn't that, isn't that gorgeous? So, so each of these is gonna have to stay out of its signature um, until I take the photo. So <laughs> this is getting, oh, and I forgot the other side. So let's put the cluster on the other side. I will probably speed through the other one, other ones because this is gonna take us forever and a day if I don't. So I should have probably done this first. So we're going to just go ahead and put our, our cluster bits on here. We're just going to have to be mindful of that paper clip because that was kind of um, unanticipated, but we should be all right. I'm going to put that there. And I think this was next. Was that next or was this next? I think this was next. But which direction? Let's just go ahead and do it like that. If you guys have been following me at all, you know that I love clusters. They're like my favorite thing to do. And then we've got a piece of vellum. I feel I'm feeling like that's too big. Uh, for some reason, I don't know why I was thinking it could be that big or should be. I mean, there are no shoulds, but it definitely would be okay to be smaller. There we go. There we go, there we go. So we're just gonna put it on there. And so what I love about this, as I mentioned before, is that dries clear. So you cannot even see that I just used a bunch of glue. You can see it there. And then we're gonna put, oh, I think this was supposed to go in a different layer. Hmm, I'm not gonna use that. And then shall we put anything underneath this one? She's so, so white. That's the only thing I don't like about these images is they are super, super light so I'm gonna reach in my basket and see if something pops out at me we've got this that would be pretty this was the um, this was the, the lace I used on the autumn garden journal that my friend um, Shelly went one 
That was the grand prize. So happy for her. I'm just going to put that on there. Yeah, lovely. So Fab Fabri Tac. Mm -hmm. Gorgeous. Um, but again, the only thing I don't like about these images is that they are the background so white. I could have inked that up and, and made that better. But you know what? I wonder. I don't want to go over that paper clip. But because this is not a tuck, I can go, I can go um, off of it like this. If that makes any sense to you guys? Perfect. And so then when I, before I take the pictures, I'll put some, um, maybe we'll put something here, I don't know, to make that look a little bit better. I should have probably put a paper on there, which I could still do where I do the hidden backside of it. Um, so I think I'll do that, but I won't, I won't do that with you on camera. And then we've got our little one on the front. So that is paper clip one. I will um, speed through parts of this second one because you've seen it once, but it was pretty rough. So let's see if we can do better. So let's do this one. So we need to find a page of a journal. I'm, I'm doing one in each journal. So let's look at the second signature. See where this would, would go well. Let me move this stuff up a little bit. You can at least see a little bit. I think it would be really pretty on this because this is so bright and that is so light so it would be a great contrast so let me take this page out for some reason I thought I had um, inked these up and I've been working on two journals I'm working on my granddaughter's uh, strawberry journal for her uh, 12th birthday coming up shortly so I've been kind of going between the two so I'm just inking up just the parts that I need to, just that I won't be able to get to later. So this page won't be able to be sewn around or anything like that, but that's all right. So there we go. So I've got that ready for when we're ready to actually put it on a page. So um, as you'll probably notice, um, because of the way I did this paper, I took a piece, I cut it, folded it in half and then cut it in a triangle. So the flip side is going to be upside down, but we're just going to cover it up. It's not a big deal. So we've got that. And let's see, I think I wanted this one on the front. So again, we're already all cut and ready to go. So I'm going to just start gluing down, cut and glued and inked, cut and inked. And now we're gluing. Goodness gracious. There we go. And then, so there we've got it. This is a piece of um, coffee dyed paper scrap from my stash. And then we've got some book page here. So that's kind of my recipe. I either do book page or, um, or music page. And then we've got this beautiful image. Look at that. Now again, that does um, get some, get somewhat lost. Um, but you have to be okay with that. Let's see, do we want some something underneath it? Maybe we should put this in there since we didn't use that before. And we can cut the excess off. Let's do that. Since I use this on the other layer, I'm going to try to um, include it here as well, just a little bit. It always tears so stinking straight, like, can you just tear crooked? <laughs> it would be awesome. So let's just think about where we want this to be, because that's the a direction. And I just want a little bit of this to show, so maybe we'll just put it right there, and then that'll go there. Yeah. When we do lose, you know, as I talk about layers a lot in my process, um, when you do this, you do lose um, some of your layers, right? Because you put, it's layering, one thing on top of another. And so sometimes you have to let go of um, something that you, you thought would show, but it's not going to show. And that's okay. 
So we can't really, oh, we can barely see that gold over there, but that's okay, it's a hint. And I probably will put a word on these, just a really small one. So that is our first cluster. Let's do the back. Well, I feel like the way that we did that before is good. So I'm gonna go ahead and um, put this one on this in the same uh, fashion that we did on the other one. So I just do want to comment, as, in case you guys are wondering, how is this a hidden paper clip and what is its benefit? So its benefit is, is that when it goes on here, even though it's not going to be effective on the back, it's still going to clip on here like that. And it's going to hold that corner hugger in the corner, which I've, I've made corner huggers before and they are tricky to hold, to get to stay where you want them to stay. So... I just I was thinking about that as I was just um, pondering this and thought, hmm, I better I better talk about that. <laughs> so and I did ink a bits just in case things showed that I didn't expect. So we're gonna go ahead and put this on here. Is that what I did with the other one? I think so. Yeah. I hope so. Yep. Okay. <laughs> Yeah, so because um, we still have some functionality of that paper clip, I sh we should flip that so the the big part is on the um, on this side. So let me let me change that. I don't know if we did that other one right. I'm not sure. We'll find out. If we didn't on that one, we're doing it right here. So I'm just moving that up so that it's hidden, and so then again, it's going to be glued. Um, Oh my goodness, what am I doing? Pause. Okay, sorry guys, for some reason this is not, it's not working in my head right now, so. Um, I want the long side on the top. I just did it too, I'm pretty sure I did it this way. But we need, we need to get this glued down and I can't remember how we did that. I don't think we did it right on the first one. So let's um, let's take this slow and steady. So we want this to be functional on this on the top here. So I guess what we're going to have to do is just move quickly. So let me go ahead and put some fabric tag here. I don't think we did it right on the other one because otherwise I would not have put glue all over that like I did. So now we're gonna go ahead and slide this on here. I'm hoping this is making sense. We'll be able to pull that paper clip back out in a second. So I'm just gonna pull this in here. Okay. That extra glue off. So that is that and then that is glued down. Okay, where did our paper clip go? Where did it go? Did it just come off? Where did it go? <laughs> it like disappeared, you guys. It's not even on my desk. That is so weird. Okay, let's try this again. Okay, so we're gonna put this on here put this on here so oh boy oh boy oh boy so much for hairbrained ideas right okay so we're gonna put that on there I don't I seriously don't know where that paper clip went it's not on my lap or anything that is so strange okay we're gonna try again maybe it's a magic trick and I, I don't even know I'm doing it it's possible okay so this is going on here. I'm going to hold this paper clip and I'm going to slide this on all the way, all the way, all the way. And I'm going to slide this up. There we go. I don't know where the other one went. I need to pull this down. I'm trying to get a hold of it. It's too much before that glue sets. So there we go. So that should be glued because that is glued to the page. Hoping that's making sense. We'll we'll go through the last one slowly. 
because this was this was another rough one. So then, yep, that's right. So then, um, and I maybe you guys can remember if I did it right on the other one. I don't know. I can't keep track. So I'm going to go ahead and use my white glue, and I'm going to go ahead and just put a bead. Yeah, we didn't because I don't remember seeing this paper clip. <laughs> So that one was just a, a fake one. I'm just I'm gonna put it on here. Goodness gracious. Goodness gracious, Kara Renee. I'm, it's nighttime. It's getting ready to go to bed, and I'm behind on my videos again just because I've been I was busy for a couple of days, not able to really spend time creating. So okay, so that is that. So this time I think we'll see if we can put our cluster over that paper clip. Oh, we needed to pull this one out a little bit. Yeah, just that much. Just enough to be able to get a, um, a piece of sari silk or something through there or seam binding. Perfect. Okay. I can see the glue though. It's driving me crazy. Oh, where's my pin? I will fix that later. I don't know if you guys can see that that webby thing in the paper clip. <laughs> okay, so let's build this cluster in a hurry here. Goodness sakes. Okay, so we're gonna go this one first. This is some mixed media paper I did, so it's got some little gold splashes on it. Very pretty. there we go cute little cluster again I'll put a word on there we hid that paper clip a little bit and um, it is a functional tuck spot let me see if I can do that without disrupting anything that's still drying so it's going to slide in here I can feel that paper clip catching it right there so that is good can I see the paper clip <laughs> we did do that didn't we yep I see the paper clip so that is awesome okay so we're going to do the third one we are going to slow down again because that one was a little bit rough and i don't like to leave you with that kind of an experience so let's try this last one i'm going to grab the last signature let's see if we can find a good page for it There we go. Okay, so this is going to go like that. This is going to be trickier though because we have, oh, but that's going to be part of the other, This it's going to be sewn in here, so never mind. Okay, so let's go ahead and ink this one up a little bit, just the parts that we need to again. I can get to the other parts um, later when I do the... Um, the rest of prep, pre prepping the signatures. So I wouldn't be probably sewing around this. It's pretty fragile. So let's go ahead and build this cluster. So it's all, they're all right-handed pages. As you noticed, you could totally have flipped this and done it on the other side, but we're going to stick with this since um, this has gotten a little bit, a little bit convoluted. So I'm going to use this one on the front. So I'm going to go, I'm going to speed through the gluing process and then we'll slow down when we get to the tricky part. We are going to lose that flower. I didn't even notice that I had that too. And I don't really want a duplicate, so I'm going to just go ahead and put that right over that. We can see that green tone underneath, which is what I was going for. 
So there we go. So let's go ahead and <clears throat> get this on our page. And again, we're going to go slow mo here. <clears throat> so here's my, I don't know that what happened to that paper clip. <laughs> oh, I'm so confused. Okay, here we go. Let's put this on here. And so again, this gold paper clip is going to go um, with the long side here. So it's going to go like that. So we're going to pull this out so that we can go ahead and, and glue that, glue this stuff in here. So I'm just going to leave a bit of that out. And we're going to go ahead and, um, yeah, we're going to slide this in really fast. So I'm going to use the Fabri-Tac so then we have some room, uh, I mean some time rather, to do that. Now there's a chance that this paper clip, clip will not be as stable as it might have been otherwise, but that's the price we're paying for this experiment. So we're going to go ahead and slide this in here. Try to be a little bit more um, deliberate. It's tricky because it's pushing that glue out. So I'm going to have to figure out if we're really getting a good adhesion there. So because that just pushed that glue out. We can look on the other side though. Just going to make sure that that's nice and um, even. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to put some glue under here. Actually, let's just get some fabric tack in there. Like that. Okay. So that's that. She's in. We've got the top of the paper clip here. So it's actually functional. Uh, I'm going to push this in. Oh, we're uneven. Let me slide that over. There we go. I'm going to push this in a little bit more. Just uh, I don't think I needed that much there so we're going to use a little bit of this glue the white glue put a bead here actually i meant to do that over here because i know the full length you know what i mean so we're just gonna have double in some places there we go so we're going to fold that over and i'm going to hold that and give it a good press i am definitely going to do this again <laughs> definitely so, I mean, in theory, I mean, as if we re revisit the, the original idea, this corner tuck is not going to go anywhere anyway because it's glued on the other side. So the hidden paper clip in this case is really not functional. I mean, it, it will hold something in here better than this tuck, but in terms of this whole piece coming off, like other corner huggers do that I've made, they, they are not necessarily all that stable. Um, anything that's tucked in here is going to be secure. So I guess it does functionally work the way that, that I intended. So, okay, let's go ahead and build this other cluster and then we will be done. <laughs> Oh, there's my paper clip. <laughs> it got stuck in my paper towel. Okay, mystery solved. There it is. I feel better. I'm not crazy. So now we need to we need to use some fabric tech here. Uh, anyway, I've got a, a textile drawer that has the bigger pieces in it, so I'm gonna look and see if there's any more of that of that dress because it's really sweet. Oh, I love this cluster. This is really pretty. Really, really pretty. Okay, now we've got some vellum, and then we're almost, we're almost done. I want to thank you for sticking it out with me. You know, sometimes we learn together, and as I have said over and over, I don't come to the table with the idea of perfection in mind or that you will not see my flaws. Um, I want you to see my flaws because that's where we connect, right? I, um, I get a lot more out of a creator who is not afraid 
to admit when they've uh, messed up or you know I mean you don't really mess up but in terms of like I don't know there's just a prideful thing that goes that goes in, in that's in play when we are so striving for, 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 for perfection because we don't want people to see that we're imperfect and that's what I'm trying to avoid so there we go so this is going to get glued in this is kind of heavy because it's double right but um, I did want to say and I've said this in other videos but in case you haven't watched my other ones I allow for bulk in my journal so this journal is three signatures and it's two and three quarter inch spine and it's a soft spine it's a soft uh, cover so um, it will it will be able to take this bulk I allow for that bulk because I love doing things like this so um, thank you guys so much for coming by um, I appreciate you and I hope that you guys have a fantastic week this is Sunday night so we're headed into a new week work week so blessings to you all Thanks. Bye-bye.